Okay, this video will show you how to connect a JVL motor to a Allen Bradley uh, Control Logics or Compact Logics PLC. The first thing we'll do here is on your Ethernet device or your Ethernet uh, module, you want to add a new module and you want to select a generic Ethernet module. Okay, uh, we've already done this before and we called it a Mac 400. I'm going to right mouse click on it so you can see the properties. So whenever you're connecting to the uh, Mac 400 uh, JVL motor, you want to make sure that the COM format is a double integer format. Uh, make sure you put in the IP address. And more importantly are the connection parameters. You have your input assembly instance at 101 and the size is 5, double integers. The output assembly instance is 100 with the size 5. And just leave the configuration at 1 and 0. And click on OK. Alright, when you go to the controller tags, you'll see we have the Mac C, Mac I, and Mac O, and you can verify that you truly do have five double integers and of inputs and of outputs. So we'll save this and we'll go online. I uh, physically don't have a, an Allen Bailey PLC, but I do have the Soft Logics uh, running on my computer here. So we'll save this and we'll go online and go back to run mode and to note that we truly are connected we see that we do not have any yellow triangle on our ethernet module. And now these are the five input registers and the five output registers that will match up to the uh, input and output registers that's selected underneath the Ethernet IP setup in the MacTalk software for the JVL motor. So now we have the requested position is set up at write word 2 with the actual position back at read word 1. So if I go to my right word in the RSLogix 5000, if I set that to a value of 8000 and hit enter, the drive should change and now my actual position is now set to 8000. So this is how you set up a JVL Mac 400 drive motor combo to an Allen Bradley PLC.